Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. The Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met at Qatabiya Palace with the recently appointed Under Secretaries, Presidents, and Chief Executives from various government agencies. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasized the vital role of the public sector's executive management in implementing the Kingdom's wide ranging development initiatives and strategies led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness congratulated the recent government appointees and wished them success with their new roles. He commended the office the officials' efforts which have led to the development of services offered to citizens and residents and stressed the importance of strengthening Team Bahrain's efforts to meet the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals. His Royal Highness emphasized the Kingdom's commitment to providing opportunities for skilled Bahraini citizens to ensure the success of development initiatives. For their part, the newly appointed officials extended their gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and for the trust bestowed upon them in assuming their new posts. The officials also highlighted His Royal Highness's continued support to the Kingdom's workforce. The newly appointed officials concluded by expressing their commitment to achieving the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals that benefit Bahraini citizens and residents. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, also attended the meeting. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahra Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, in the presence of GSA Vice President, Zahra Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and GSA CEO, Dr. Abdurrahman Asker. Zahra Sheikh Khalid congratulated Al Malki on his appointment as Minister of Cabinet Affairs, wishing him success in carrying out his duties. Zahra reviewed GSA. GSA's vision and plan to develop sports in Bahrain, hailing the government's inclusion of the sports sector in the social services access as part of its initiatives for the government's work program for the next phase, which contributes to supporting the sports sector, which also receives the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, based on His Majesty's visions to support national talents and energies within the framework of the Comprehensive Development March. They also discussed ways to enhance cooperation and coordination in various sports-related matters. For his part, El Malki expressed appreciation for the efforts led by His Highness Sheikh Khalid to contribute to the development of sports in Bahrain, which has made notable achievements during the recent period, stressing the keenness to support the sports sector to achieve further gains in this field. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his office in El Wadi Palace, the CEO of the Urban Planning and Development Authority, the UPDA, engineer Ahmed Abdul Aziz Al Khayyad, in the presence of the vice president of GSA, Sana Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the CEO of GSA, Dr. Abdurrahman Asker. Sana Sheikh Khalid congratulated engineer Ahmed on the Royal Trust through his new appointment wishing him success in performing his duties. His Highness discussed the developmental projects of the sports infrastructure and their inclusion in urban development plans to conform to the adopted standards and conditions, especially with regards to sports establishments. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed the necessity for continuing to coordinate and cooperation between the GSA and the UPDA to fulfill the requirements of the youth and sports sector development and to prepare modern establishments and facilities to hold various activities and initiatives to develop this vital sector. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahra Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Education Ministry Director General for School Affairs, Dr. Mohammed Mbarak bin Ahmed, in the presence of GSA Vice President, Zahra Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, GSA CEO, Dr. Abdurrahman Asghar, and the Assistant Under Secretary for Educational Services, Kifaya Habib Al Anzur. His Highness directed the joint committee between GSA and the Ministry of Education 
Education to study the possibility of developing school gymnasiums in coordination with the Ministry of Works. This is an implementation of the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Sana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to enable clubs and associations to use school facilities. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also directed to start the sports school project, stressing the need to focus through the sports school on integration between applying sports activities and following up on fitness and healthy nutrition for students. His Highness affirmed the great importance accorded to developing human beings under the Comprehensive Reform March led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness added that the development programs targeting all sports aspects reflect the keenness on investing in national potentials. He also asserted the need to continue developing these school sports programs. His Highness pointed out that the role of school sports goes beyond physical aspects and fitness as sports can contribute to improving academic performance levels by enhancing a sense of competitiveness and teamwork. For his part, the Director General for the Schools Affairs expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness for his interest and follow-up on aspects related to school sports, stressing that work will begin immediately to open the way for clubs and associations to use school facilities. He pointed out that the Bahraini Sports Federation for Schools and Universities, for which His Highness issued an edict to expand its scope to include schools last year, constitutes one of the foundations for developing school sports in a comprehensive manner. On the occasion of the launch of the new electronic version of the Job Seekers Registration Service by the Ministry of Labour, the Minister of Labour, Jamil Hamidan, affirmed the continuity of efforts towards developing and improving the quality of government services through enhancing and executing plans and digital transformation programs for the services provided to citizens. Hamidan noted that the new service offers an easy-to-use platform to register job seekers and update their data where the service is linked to a electronic systems database for various governmental authorities to accelerate the registration process, noting that this development contributes in saving the, applica the applicant's time and effort through reducing the use of paper documents and that personal attendance would not be required. The minister added that the system includes an electronic services package for job seekers, which includes an electronic employment exhibition registering for unemployment, insurance service, compensation or the unemployment benefits in addition to benefiting from training programs and other services that are improved continuously. The President of the Electricity and Water Affairs Authority, EWA Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, announced the launch of the fixed system of the electricity and water bill that allows subscribers to choose a flexible and fixed bill. The President added that the system comes as part of the developmental initiative package on which EWA is working in order to offer the best services and solutions for its subscribers and ensure the provision of sustainable services with the highest quality. Kamal bin Ahmed noted the system's contribution to the organization of the payments and consumption process, which is considered an optional service that allows all subscribers to choose a monthly fixed bill all year round based on the actual average consumption for the last 12 months. The option will ensure no electricity disconnection throughout the year. A press conference was held by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amner Romehi, to announce the new housing finance program approved by the Cabinet, chaired by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Romehi stated that the types and privileges of financing services have been expanded to be added to the previous financing, namely purchase financing, construction financing, restoration financing and the Mazaya program, which has been expanded according to the new financing programs. She also announced the addition of uh, the addition of the test heal program which provides three new financing options she affirmed the keenness to continue drafting innovative solutions for housing by strengthening partnership with the private sector to play a key role in providing housing services to citizens to support the objectives of the comprehensive development march she noted that all necessary measures have been taken to start receiving housing applications for financing
The Minister of Tourism, Fatma Sarifi, met with a number of owners of private sector tourism establishments. She stated work is underway to update the guide classifying hotels, apartments, hotels and hospitality services. The minister said that this move, which keeps pace with local, regional and global developments, aims to achieve the aspirations of private stakeholders. She revealed that the ministry's specialized team is currently working on reformulating the criteria for classifying tourism facilities to be more flexible and accommodating to the diversity of the tourism sector. She urged stakeholders to submit their visions and remarks to be discussed prior to including the guide in line with Bahrain's Tourism Strategy 2022-26, to which was announced as part of the Economic Recovery Blueprint. The minister hailed the vital role played by the private sector tourism establishments, describing them as real partners of the ministry. She reiterated the ministry's keenness to promote the various events held by private tourism sector facilities in Bahrain through BTEA's extensive network of relations, including more than 75 tourist offices around the world. The Minister of Information Affairs, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, inaugurated the sessions of the Innovators Lab organized by the Ministry of Information Affairs for three days at the Ministry's headquarters, with the participation of a group of media caterers representing the various directorates of the Ministry. The Minister affirmed the aspiration to achieve an added creative value in the various media platforms in the Ministry through vital interaction and knowledge transfer among the Ministry's employees with the aim of an enhancing the spirit of cooperation and creativity and achieving media excellence in line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. And Naimi noted that this event aims to support the creative energies of the ministry's employees and benefit from the experiences of media professionals, especially in visual content creation to stimulate creativity and excellence in government work and invest in the Bahraini citizen as the focus of development and its basis in implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the importance of developing national caters and supporting creativity and innovation to achieve the desired goals. He stressed the importance of making the most of the activities of this event and coming up with recommendations that contribute to the development of the various stages of media production in the ministry, wishing the event's participants and organizers success.